At the farthest edge of our solar system, where sunlight barely touches frozen clouds and gravity seems to forget its own rules, one planet has quietly defied every expectation, Neptune. For over a century, it has been the distant sentinel, a cold gas giant cloaked in mystery, known only through math, a fleeting flyby, and the occasional telescope whisper. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful eye humanity has ever turned toward the stars, has delivered a revelation so unsettling that it has shaken even the most seasoned scientists. This wasn't just an update, it wasn't an improvement in clarity. It was a warning, a cosmic red flag, that what we thought we knew about Neptune was wildly, dangerously wrong. Join us on this cosmic journey as we explore the James Webb Telescope's final discovery about Neptune just scared the world. Let's find out. Neil deGrasse Tyson, in a packed auditorium and under the glare of a global livestream, dropped the revelation with the gravitas of a scientist confronting the unknown. Neptune's internal structure, its magnetic field, and even the very laws governing its orbit no longer align with Newtonian predictions. Something is off. And it's not just strange, it's terrifying. Because if Neptune, a planet we thought we understood, is hiding a secret so radical it rewrites planetary science, then what else is out there lurking beneath the veil of our assumptions? For years, astronomers tracked Neptune's orbit with robotic precision, everything aligned, until it didn't. New web data, combined with Earth-based interferometric arrays, revealed anomalies. Neptune's trajectory began to show subtle deviations from Newton's laws. Its path through space, once predictable, now whispered of a deeper, invisible influence. At first, they blamed the instruments. Then they blamed the software. But the truth was far more chilling. Neptune was moving in ways that defied gravitational logic, as if it were responding to an unseen force, or worse, harboring one within. And this was only the beginning. When Neil deGrasse Tyson took the stage to explain what the James Webb had uncovered, the room fell into a silence, not of awe, but of alarm. Because beneath Neptune's familiar blue swirl lies an internal structure unlike any other planet we've ever studied. Layers that don't obey the laws of density or pressure, thermal zones that generate heat without any solar input. In short, Neptune behaves like a machine with a broken blueprint, or one running on a set of physics we haven't discovered yet. Neptune's magnetic field has always been odd, tilted, lopsided, and misaligned from the planetary core. But now, it's shifting, not in geological time, but in human time. Sections of the field appear to fragment and reassemble in dynamic cycles. The James Webb and supporting observatories picked up pulses, magnetic waves surging and collapsing with patterns that eerily mirror biological rhythms. These aren't just magnetic glitches, their behavior evolves, pulses, reacts. Some scientists have quietly begun to suggest that Neptune's magnetic field might not be generated by a typical metallic or conductive fluid core at all. Instead, the data points to exotic superionic ices, a state of matter where water behaves as both a solid and a liquid, conducting electricity like molten metal but structured like a crystalline mesh. These materials, under Neptune's crushing pressure, might flow in chaotic belts driving internal storms, turbulence, and the magnetic map that redraws itself in real time. But even this theory doesn't explain why the field reacts to solar events before they happen. Unless Neptune isn't just reacting, it's predicting. Here's where things spiral into the truly unexplainable. Neptune is cold. It should be cold. It's 30 times farther from the sun than Earth. But James Webb's thermal imaging found something impossible. Deep within the atmosphere, hidden beneath clouds of methane and ammonia, lie warm patches, pockets of heat, localized, persistent, and growing. There are no large moons causing tidal heating, no solar radiation penetrating that deep, no geological activity that we know of, and yet, Neptune is burning from the inside out. Some theorists now believe that Neptune may host internal thermal pulses, rogue waves of energy migrating through its structure perhaps even initiating its hurricane-like storms. But what causes them remains a mystery. One hypothesis, barely whispered among astrophysicists, is that these pulses are the result of phase transitions in the superionic material, matter flipping between states, releasing bursts of energy. If true, the Neptune isn't just reacting to physics, it's generating its own rules. A planet not in equilibrium, but in controlled chaos. Then came the data that stopped the world. From the heart of Neptune, buried in the static of radio emissions, 
scientists detected an irregular signal, not noise, not atmospheric interference, a low-frequency pulse with spectral characteristics that didn't match anything observed in natural planetary systems. It repeated, it oscillated, and then it vanished. But not before it had been recorded by at least three independent observatories. The scientific community was divided. Was it a product of the exotic magnetic field, a resonance caused by Neptune's strange internal chemistry? Or was it something else, something more intentional? Some even pointed to the possibility that Neptune's structure, if it does include stratified cavities or pressure-bending pockets, might function like a resonant chamber, a natural amplifier, a signal booster, or worse, a transmitter. The idea that Neptune might be emitting a signal, not as a side effect of physics, but as part of its architecture, shattered conventional models, because a planet that resonates like that, intentionally or not, might be more than a planetary body, it might be a mechanism. Neptune has always been home to one of the most violent storms in the solar system, the Great Dark Spot, a vortex the size of Earth. But now, James Webb's near-infrared imaging revealed something that no one expected. The storm isn't just persistent. It's growing smarter. It adapts. It shifts direction in response to solar wind patterns days before they arrive. Its temperature fluctuates in harmonics. Its outer bands appear to exchange mass with nearby clouds at frequencies that resemble biological respiration. One model even showed that the storm's core aligned momentarily with the shifting magnetic field, as if it were coordinated. As if this wasn't weather anymore, but behavior. If Earth's hurricanes behaved like this, meteorologists would consider it sentient. So, the question arises, what happens when a storm is no longer just weather, but a function of something deeper? As Webb continued observing Neptune's atmospheric dynamics, a shocking geometric pattern began to emerge. At first, it was dismissed as data artifacts, but after weeks of comparison with past observations, it became undeniable. The distribution of Neptune's thermal pulses, the rotational timing of its magnetic anomalies, and the orbital paths of its inner rings, all aligned with what mathematicians call a quasi-toroidal symmetry. This isn't common. It's not random. It's the kind of structure found in engineered systems. Particle accelerators, energy containment fields, even some theories of propulsion. The problem? Neptune isn't a machine. Or at least, it's not supposed to be. And yet, the more the data is analyzed, the more this pattern emerges, hinting that Neptune may be hiding an internal architecture, one that interacts with gravitational forces in ways that allow it to regulate its own orbit, its own chaos. And that begs a disturbing possibility. Was Neptune shaped by nature or shaped by something else? Amid the chaos of magnetic storms and thermal anomalies, James Webb detected a small fluctuation in Neptune's narrow ring system. A faint object, or perhaps a shadow, moved against the backdrop of starlight. It was invisible in the optical range, but Webb's infrared sensors caught it. It wasn't a moon. It wasn't an asteroid. It was too symmetrical, too smooth, and most importantly, it was stationary. Nothing in the ring system should remain still. Everything orbits, everything drifts, but this anomaly didn't. It sat there, motionless, as if observing. Several passes confirmed its presence. Then, within a week, it disappeared. Not moved, vanished. Not into the planet, not into space, simply gone. Speculation ran wild. Was it a cloaked satellite? A remnant of something artificial? A dormant probe hidden in plain sight for eons? Or was it part of Neptune itself? There with it or part of it has never been what we thought. And then came the final piece. The observation that turned quiet concern into existential panic. Using gravitational lensing models, scientists measured a subtle but measurable distortion in light as it passed behind Neptune, not just from the planet itself, but from an off-axis location, just above its equator. This wasn't a moon. It wasn't mass-related. 
The distortion was caused by something bending space-time locally. In short, an object or force is interacting with gravity in a way that mimics a micro-event horizon, like a miniature black hole or a gravity engine. Something so advanced we don't have the math to describe it fully, but we can detect its fingerprints. The implications are devastating. If Neptune houses or hides something capable of warping space in this way, then it's not just a gas giant anymore. It's a cosmic enigma, a structure beyond our comprehension, operating in deep time and buried in ice and storms. Maybe it was placed there. Maybe it formed naturally, but was altered. Either way, we were never supposed to find it. Neptune was supposed to be the quiet one, the frozen, distant outpost in our cosmic backyard, a place where nothing ever changes, where storms churn in silence and moons drift like forgotten sentinels. But James Webb just pulled back the curtain and what it revealed is not just terrifying, it's paradigm shifting because this isn't about weather. It's not about rings or clouds or coal gases. This is about design, about systems buried in chaos, about motion that responds to invisible rules, and above all, about something we may not have been meant to discover. If Neptune is more than a planet, if it's a vessel or a mechanism or a monument to physics we haven't yet earned, then that means the solar system isn't just a natural structure. It's a map, a sequence, a set of instructions written in orbit, and gravity, and temperature. And now that we've read one of the final lines, we're beginning to understand the message. But that message may not be reassuring. Because what if Neptune wasn't hiding a secret? What if Neptune is the secret? And what we just saw was the lock turning. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Please tell us your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.